Have you ever heard the phrase, less is more from Dutch architect Mies van Roo? What does a Dutch architect have to do with guitar? A lot, coming right up. One of my biggest guitar idols when I was growing up was Steve Howe of Yes. I watched Yes songs and was just amazed at how easily and quickly he could move up and down the neck, just commanding that fretboard. I thought, man, he must see everything. But maybe, just maybe, he wasn't seeing more. Maybe he was seeing less. I know that sounds crazy, but when you think about it, it actually makes some sense. When you focus on a few vital things, you're actually able to see ideas much more clearly. It works for athletes. Why not for guitar? Here's the sort of thing that I mean. So how do we get there? One way is to use connecting licks. Now I talked about that previously in another video, I'll link at the end of this video, so you can check that out at the end. But there's another way too, and this is a chordal idea. It's so simple, you can learn to see it and apply it in almost no time. So let's check that out, starting with something you probably already know. Here's one standard bar chord with the root, the note that names the chord, on the A string. And here's another standard bar chord. This one's a minor, also with the root on the A string. As I said, you probably already know that, but it's not quite what we're after. We're after something simpler. What is that simple chord? It's called a partial chord, and it's exactly what it sounds like. You take a full chord, and you envision just a piece of that chord. Now you don't have to use the D, G, and B strings, although those are great choices. We're going to choose some other strings when we do the Steve Howe lick later. Here's another example, a minor partial chord. So that was easy, but why the heck would you want to do that anyway? Well here's one reason, it's a heck of a lot easier to play very quickly. Check out this R and B lick. Now you might try playing that with full bar chords, but it'd be very difficult. That's hard to play really fast, but this, not hard at all. And it sounds great. A second reason, and this is a big one, is that once you have a few of these partial chord shapes under your belt and you really can see them, you can move anywhere on the fretboard almost instantaneously. It's a lot easier than carrying around big scale patterns because you've got less to remember. You can focus on just a couple things and move very, very quickly. There are even more reasons to love partial chords, but you're seeing the power, I'm sure. Now, don't make the mistake of thinking just because you understand it theoretically that you can play it. I know, it's just a piece of a chord that you already know, so it should be pretty easy, but somehow it's not. You gotta practice it. So in that spirit, let's go through that Steve Howe lick that I did in the beginning, or Steve Howe style lick, and let's see if we can understand it using partial chords. So here's the lick, slowly. Now instead of tabbing it, let's understand it through partial chords. It's a lick over a B7 chord, so here are three B7s. And now here are the partial chords that we're gonna make from those three B7 chords. So here's the lick using those partial chords. But we can make it even simpler. We can simplify even more by seeing only the top and bottom notes of each partial chord. A partial of the partial chord, if you will. So now the lick becomes very easy to see and to play. And I know a few of you are out there saying, hey, those are double stop six, and so they are. But you see how partial chords kind of just is one thing that captures all of that. And if you can see those little partial chords, you can see those double stops too. Now, isn't that more satisfying than just learning the lick from the tab? I think it is. Now you can create your own licks from these partial chords. Now, if you add a connecting lick or two to this, you'll really be cooking with gas. So click on this video, because in that video I show you a couple of licks to do just that. You'll be playing like Jimmy Page in no time. So click on this video, and we'll see you on down the road.